Sunika. So hope you you will have a clear picture of that Phyllis Sunika now. Okay, how the things are working. Okay. So, any idea Bangalore lab when will open? No, not now. And Swami has a good idea. Ask to Swami. <laughs> what when sir? the Cisco office or uh, Cisco will be open in the Bangalore location? Sir, we have to ask you to July tak to kuch pucho hi mat bol diya hai. <laughs> so even the tag team, everything is working from home. So currently mm -hmm. nobody is going to the Cessna business park at all. It's very, very rare. So it's kind of shut down only. So I think until June, July, there is no intimation at all. So mm -hmm. baad bhi, I don't think it will open immediately. Why? I, I think uh, they are planning for drive for all the employees first. COVID ka. Okay. Uh, then might be there might be sir thoda okay. first uh, employees ko pehle ye ready karenge and then tag team ko ready karenge andar aane and then basically lab aap kholenge sir abhi sirf jo lab maintain karte hain wo log sirf ja rahe hain beech beech mein that's all okay so guys have a look so mpls interface i don't have mpls is enabled over there right so let's see for the mpls on r2 right interface 1/0 mpls ip Okay, on R3, interface 0 slash 0 MPLS IP, and on R1 slash 0 MPLS IP. Done. On R4 now, to show MPLS interface, I think so MPLS is pre configured. Yes, R5. So MPLS interface. No, so let's enable interface 0 slash 0 MPLS IP. All done. So I have done with the MPLS now. So you can see on R6 from R1, if I'm going to make a free shot, all working fine, right? R4. Interface look like now too. Interface look back now three, IP address only. Done. Four. Done. Interface low back number. Done. Interface low back number. I have created the full backs on a router number four, right? So low back number is one 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 slash twenty four. Two zero slash twenty four. Slash 24. Done. Now, so for all this router, right? Sorry, I'm really sorry. For all this prefix, what happened? R4 is going to assign the label, and label is a local to the router. Right? Local to the router. So if you see on a R3, so MPLS forwarding. Pop the label, right? And if you go back to the R2, we have some label for this person, right? 1.0, 2.0, Let's go to R4 order. And what I'm going to do, interface 0 slash 0, I paste summary address. EHGRP number 1, 48.0. Done. So previously what happened? R2 was having a complete information about the label. Right? In R2 table, we have a complete information about the label. For all the prefix, right? For this guy, label. Right? What happened once I did the summarization on R2? 
Now if you check the R2, what happened? No label. So if you ping from R1, I will I will able to able to ping right. I'm able to ping from R1 right. I'm able to ping from R1. Even I I can ping 2.1 as well as 3.1 and 4.1. Restart. What happened? Twenty three dot three R three is assigning the label to twenty nine, right? But not this guy, R two. If I'm going to remove the summation, right? See the behavior, what happened? Okay, huh? One, one, two, one, three, dot one. And four, right? And now observe if I'm going to remove this guy. This is perfect. Now, all we have a label, right? I remove the summation, right? Push off the loop. I don't know why the short code is giving no blow label slash twenty one. It has not to be present over there. Clear emptiness coding to this. Amen. <laughs>
Five. Let's go into the program. Scanning. Perfect. Let's start. Right. And now, I'm going to do the summation. Um, sir, when you configure the loopback, right, are you assigning that MPLS IP on that? No, right? You cannot assign the, uh, you cannot enable the MPLS on the loopback. Okay. Do IP root somebody? Sorry, do IP root EHRP. Yes, do show IP MPLS binding table. So MPLS binding table. Let me show MPLS LDP binding table. Yes, no, no. This is the LIV table. They're all information will be present. Uh, okay. so can you just do show IP interface brief on that particular R4, sir? So one minute, I'm just show MPLS. No, show IP interface brief. Can you configure here, sir? Okay. Okay. Three loopbacks are updated, and uh, I did the some license for this guy, or we can say the aggregation. And I'll just try to show you what happened after doing the aggregation. So basically, what happened? I'll tell you. Once you do the aggregation now, once you do the aggregation of this particular, right now, what happened? For all this particular route, we have an individual level. Right? For all this particular route, we have an individual level. And if you see on R2, we have individual level information. Right? The local level 20 and our going level is 22. Right? After performing the summarization, if you see, what I'm doing over there. This summary address we have. Of course, I'm going to create an implicit null for this person, right? Okay. Can you see one thing over there? That's most interesting concept. For this particular route, 1 or 0 slash 24, right? This information is present on our R4 route, right? And what happened? My remote router R3 is assigning the label for this particular route is what 22. And R4 is assigning this label for the 22. But why for this particular route, even for the, if you see for this particular route, my remote router is assigning the label 23. And the same R5 is also assigning the label 23. Label is a local to the router, right? Label is a local to the router. But what about this guy down? I just have a Can anyone tell me why this thing is happening? Because you are applying the summarization on F0 slash zero. Exactly right. I'm applying the summarization on this particular interface, right? So only from this interface, the router four is going to advertise the route, not from the this interface, right? Now, what happened after that? After doing the summarization, so MPLS forwarding table. Okay, sorry, on R3, so MPLS forwarding table. What happened? For this particular route, slash 22 is happening. Right? And what I'm doing over there, R3 is doing the popular the label. And for this particular route, what happened? They'll put the local level. Now this guy is going to assign the local level for this particular route. And what happened in this case, now they are going to remove the label from this particular. So on a R2 database table, right? If you see the MPLS forwarding table of R2, what happened? 
I'm going to forward the packet based on which label, 28, for all prefix. So if I'm doing the summarization, right? If I'm doing the summarization or aggregation in your like, you know, in the MPLS, what happened? They will summarize their, uh, sorry, labels as well as. So for aggregate route, right? For the aggregate route, they will generate the labels. And so if you send any traffic for this particular network, either one or one, either one or two, two dot one, either three dot one. For all this particular route, the label is what? 28. So if you see the previously what, ha what happened, I'll do one thing. I'll let me copy this paste and, and I'll show you the difference between this and this. I'll make the difference over there. That's it. And was die before summarization. Or we can say the aggregation. And after that, After summarization. So can you see that difference is happening? For every particular route, for this one, for this one, And for this one, after some rest, what happened? Yeah. The label will be C. So they will perform the summarization for the labels as a, they will generate the label for the aggregation for the best route. So in the R2 L5 table, right? What happened? The outgoing label for this individual person is what? No label. This is after summarization, right? Yes, yes. Before the summarization, of course, we had a label. Be, this is the before summarization, right? This is the before summarization. After summarization, what happened? I don't have a label. So what happened? I'm generating the label for the aggregate route. The outgoing label is 22. And based on that, I'm going to follow the packet. Can you show that uh, forwarding table on R3, please? The local level is 28. That will become the remote level for the R2. R3 uh, local level will become the R2 remote level. So R3 will pop the level because of the PHP, by default, PHP is neighbor, right? Oops. Okay, got it. Thank you. Correct. Okay. Oh, give me one minute. I just must see one thing.
No interface rollback number three. No interface rollback number four. Okay. Yeah. So. Hey guys. By default, what happened? If you see so MPLS LDP neighbor. In this neighbor, what happened? We have a zero value set over the right. This LSR ID. The size of this LSR ID is what? Six byte. Where the four byte is going to represent that a router ID of the router. This ID. The two dot two dot two dot two, where the zero is going to represent that two byte, right? This zero is going to represent that label space. This zero is going to represent that label space, and it always set to the zero in the frame mode and PLS. Yesterday we have seen that we have a sale mode as well as the sale mode MPLS was used in the like ATM, right? In frame mode MPLS, what happened? This zero or uh, this zero is going to represent that this is the label space, and this label space will be what? Label space. Always set to zero for frame mode MPLS. The label space we have a per platform and per interface. By default, by default. We are using the per platform label space, and for the per platform label space, what happened? This is the identification. So if you see the zero over there, it means that this LSR router, or we can say this do, uh, this complete router is going to use the per platform label space or frame mode MPLS over there. If you see the any other value except this one, it means that you are going to use the per interface. In per platform, what happened? The router, right? The router one. Take example. We have a router number. Router one, and we have a. Take example, router number two, right over there. In per platform level space, what happened? If you have two links over there, one on one, and we have a one or two, and we have a two dot one, and we have a two dot two, right? If I'm going to use the per platform level space. For this particular prefix, right? For this particular prefix, what happened? I'm going to generate the single label. Per platform, you can assume like this: per device. 
for LSR router. You can say like this. For device and for LSR router. That's the meaning of per platform. For interface, what happened? I'm going to generate the label only for the specific interface. This interface, they have a separate level. This interface, they have a separate level. In a per platform, what happened? I'm going to form the single LDP level. Doesn't matter how many links you have according to. Doesn't matter how many links you have a connectivity. And it always recommendation to use the per platform. And this is the by default, the per platform is enabled. And this label space zero is going to represent that you are enabled with the per, per platform level space. The benefit of having the per platform, what it is not going to use the so much amount of memory. In the per interface, what happened? It has to use the so much amount of memory, right? That's why we are using the per platform level space. Next is we have downstream. Downstream is what? downstream on demand level and unsolicited downstream level. As the name suggests that, as the name suggests a demand, demand means what? I'm going to request, hey, give me the label. For example, R1, R2, right? R2 have a prefix 2.0.0.0.0. What R1 is going to do? R1 will ask to this person, hey, give me the labels of the 2.0.0. Then R2 will give the label to the this person, hey, 2.0.0.0. You can use the label for below there. This is the downstream on demand. I'm going to demand it first of all. In this case, what happened? I'm consuming, right? I'm consuming. But what is the benefit is happening? The benefit, less memory required, right? If I have a requirement of this particular route, I will ask to this particular way. It, it will not going to say the all information to me, right? Only on the demand basis, like a static routing. I have a demand for this network. I can go to the, uh, I can reach to this guy, right? Just define the static route for this person. But unsolicited means, what is the meaning of unsolicited? Not on the Not demand. demand, right? By default, what R1 is going to do, R1, we have R2. R2 has a three prefix 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0. They will advertise the label to this person. Hey, 10 for this guy, sorry. Label one for this guy, label two for this guy, and label three for this guy. So in this case, what happened? R1 will maintain all this label. 24 network, what happened? The label number one, 34 network, label number two, and for, uh, 10 for network, label number three. And I have to maintain this information in my database table. But in this case, what happened? This is good because in this case, what happened? I don't have a time consuming, right? If I have a packet, I will forward the packet to this person directly. But again, wastage of memory. By default, we are going to use the 
unsolicited. I'm not going to request, right? Whatever the information you have, like how this thing is happening right now. Once I enable the MPLS, automatically what happened? This guy will say the own information from this guy and this guy will say the own information from this guy. Same thing, R5, R4 is going to do the own basis, right? R4 is going to advise the label to this guy and R4 is going to advise the label for this guy's class. Same way, R2 is going to advertise the label, this guy. I'm not going to request automatically unsolicited, I'm going to advertise to you. So the meaning of downstream is we are enabled with the unsolicited. Next thing is that, one minute, let me remove the summarization. This label is not removed. Okay, previously it was an animal service, you know, it's dropping. Okay, next thing is that what happened on the router? On the router side, what happened? After on a router by default, what happened? LDP is reborn, right? After putting this command MPLS IP on that particular interface, what, what happened? MPLS will be enabled. And whatever they have a route, right? For all this particular route, the router is going to set the label, right? And they will send this information to the neighboring router. Hey, use this label for this network, use this level 16, and for this network, Use this level 16. This is the default behavior, right? You can change this thing as well. By default, after enabling this command, what happened? On R3, if you see, do so on MPLS. Do you have any extra command extra of the MPLS IP? No, right? But by default, what happened? After putting this command MPLS IP, this command is named. And again, this is your hidden command. Okay, just give me one minute. Right, so by default, what happened? MPLS LDP advertise label. This command will be enabled. After just putting the MPLS. And because of this command, right? Because of this command, what happened? LSR router. Advertise labels to LDP need. Same like all your router client, right? After enabling this command, neighbor 
101 router reflector client what happened on the router client to client reflection is enabled right by default this command will be enabled client to client reflection same way will happen with the mpls ip after enabling this command what happened this will be automatically comes in the picture and router will advertise the labels you can control this thing as well as you have an ability to say that okay i don't want to send any traffic for this particular labels sorry for this particular route for this particular route i don't want to send any kind of label packet this is happening in the service provider network what happened many customers are there right this is the one service provider network and what i want for this customer i don't want to send any kind of labels for this one for this customer i want to send the label in that case you need to use the In that case, you need to use the conditional advertisement. Condition comes policy, something like it. Policy of label. You can set the policy to the label. So right now, what happened? They are advertising this uh, uh, labels to the every uh, to every neighbor, right? Right now, router is advertising the labels to the every neighbor. By using this command, right? What happened after disable this thing? Now, if you go on R2, see outgoing label. Do we have a label? Now the LSP will be big. LSP will be big, right? But you have ability, right? Even if you go for the R4 router. Sir, but uh, one second. Uh, on R2, it should receive labels from R3 and R4, right? Why is it not receiving outgoing? Well, well, for how R3 does R3 and... will receive? I said that R3 don't advertise the label. Oh, on R3, you sir. Okay, okay. I thought you put it on R1, sir. Okay. But you have ability, right? You have ability to advertise the label for the some prefix. For example, let's do one thing. I created the access list number one. Permit. Uh, take example. I will go for take a route. Take any route. Six dot zero zero, right? Access list two. Permit. For which neighbor? As the MPLS LDP advertised label for for means what? Access list specifying control for the which destination for this destination. Six dot zero 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 zero. Sorry, access is number one. Two. If I'm not going to define the two, what happened? It will go for the every one, every person, right? LDP is, I said the LDP number two, right? Now what happened? Only for this particular neighbor, I'm going to address the label. Now, take one more. Two four one six ten MPLS twenty three dot two is towards R two right? Yes. Make that. R two forwarding table में तो twenty three रहेगा ही नहीं right? LDP number one, so MPLS LDP number one minute. No segment. Should be two, right? Two or two or two. Sorry, sorry. My mistake. I thought it was the physical interface. Do so. So one section. MPLS. I said the no access list number two. 
Okay, first remove this command. Fail to find yourself here. Do show on section access list. Okay, access list number two. Permit. Right, right. Now I'm plus LDB label advertisements for this person. And then, so do show run section MPLS section ACL. For this person, and what is the issue? This guy. So now R2. This is known as a conditional advertisement. So you can filter, you will like a filtering, you can do that, right? So we have seen the summarization. This is the filtering. Understand that one to two, two kya hai, sir. I mean, like two is the physical interface. Okay. Or... Ek, ek, ek bata two is just write on this commands. This command is not given in your book, right? R3 is there. R2 is there. R2 has a look back. R3 has a look back. And there's a prefix behind the R3. 6.00. What I'm telling this person? Hey, for, so I have multiple prefix, not so only 3.6.0. They have a 7.0 as plus. And they have a dot as well, right? What I want R3 only advertise R3 only advertise the label only for this prefix. So what happened? First, I need to create the ACL, right? First, I need to match that out. So I have created the ACL. That is the ACL permit one six dot zero zero zero. So what happened? I said that please advertise the label by using which protocol? LDP. You can use the TDP as well as right. Please advertise the label by using the LDP for which route? ACL number one. And ACL number one is calling to which person? 6.0.0. After that, I'm saying this person, I'm not done, right? You can put the enter over there, right? You can put the enter over there. What happened? It will be applicable for the all LDP neighbor. If you just put the enter over there, it is applicable for the all LDP neighbor. For example, R3 has R4. R3 is R5, it will enable for the all person, right? But what I want, I only need to share this LDP information to this person, not to the, this guy, not to the, this guy. So after what happened, I'm saying that this person, hey, advertise the labels for this particular route, for this particular route, but only advertised to this person. That AC number two is calling which person? 2.2.2. And R3 has a neighborship with the 2.2.2.2, right? So I'm only going to add rather label to this guy, not to the, this person, not to the this person. Now, Killer Swami? Yes, yes, thanks a lot. Killer? Okay. Anything else? No, sir. Bottom is like, I mean, who MPLS is getting? Who are we selling? Sir, law, Mercuna, who, Hampe Jampe zero, the two byte car. Will that, will that change? If you're going to use the AATM. Uh, sorry, okay. if it's not AAT, if you're going to use the per interface level space, it will be changed. But uh, you, you're only going to use the per platform level space right now. And by default, it's in your platform level space. Per interface, you are going to use, I think, so in the ATM. Okay. So always it will set to the zero. It set to the zero means what we are going to use the per platform level space. Which is our I'm forgetting something. That I'm going to show you. Yeah. 
something is more demanding at all. Make me know. Papa, get the hand that I'm on the river. मेरे अंगने में तुम्हारा क्या काम है मुझे भी नींद आ रही है ना ये ये इस एक कौन से बैच का पता है पुराने बैच का ये इसको डिलीट करने का पुराने बैच का तो मुझे ना ये सारे अपने ही मिल जाते पर प्लेटफॉर्म देख लिया एल टी पी न्यूट डिस्कवरी टारगेटेड हेलो पी एच पी देख लिया एविगेशन देख लिया लोकेशन ऑफ लेवल देख लिया आई विल शेयर दिस बुक टू यू गाइस इन द आई विल अपलोड दिस बुक इन द ड्राइव और अदर गेम शेयर ऑन द व्हाट्सएप इफ यू नो हैव अ लुक यू कैन टेक अ लुक ऑफ दिस डिटेल देख लिया हम ये देख लो ये अच्छा है लिबरल रिटेंशन मोड राइट The label stack I'm going to explain in the MPLS VPN, not now, because if I'm going to explain you right now, we have a single label, so you will you will understand, but that will not give you the proper experience, right? I will explain in the VPN part. This is label stack, but yeah, in the MPLS VPN, what happened? Sorry, MPLS in August. I'll I'll show you on what what is the meaning of label stack over there. Label stack is just going to tell you. how many labels are present in your mpls header right how many labels are present in your mpls header depend on the application depend on applications the label stack will modify for example if you are going to use the mpls unicast you will have a single label if i am going to use the mpls vpn you will have a two label if i am going to use the mpls t you will have a three labels So label stack is just going to tell you how many labels are present in your MPLS server. T T traffic engineering, traffic engineering. If your label is one, right? It means that this is last label. If the label is zero, in the stack field, right? In the stack field, if the label is zero, it means that this is the not a last label. or in mpls unicast how many labels we have single label so in the mpls unicast everywhere you will find label number stack bit is one the stack bit always set to the one over i will explain you this part in the mpls vpn right uh, when i have two labels then i will show you the how these things are working right 
So yes, stack bit either you have one or zero. One means what? This is the last level. Zero means what? This is not a last level. You can see that this is the T levels, LTP, VPN level. I'll explain this part later on, not now. Okay, how this thing is working. This thing already we have seen the layer two header, right? MPLS packet, unicast, multicast. Operations we have done. MPLS VPN, that's not a use right now. I mean, does this. The label assignment decision we already done with this part. So we have seen the label space, right? Part one for interface, right? In a perfect home, what happened? I'm going to have the single label, right? For one prefix, same label. So perfect home label space is going to identify whether space ID zero, right? So in a perfect home, what happened? Only one LDP session, even if there are multiple parallel links, right? Between the two LSR. LSP, we have discussed LSP is uh, like, you know, sequence of LSR and LSP will be new interaction, right? Aggregation we have seen, right? So IP aggregation break the LSP into the two segments. We can say that, right? TTL propagation we have done that's used for the loop prevention, right? Okay. And this one. Is walking in the MPLS VPN. I'm just checking for this one. It's walking out.
LTP never assigned the label to BGP prefix. It only assigned the label to the IGP prefix. Right on this part. I'll show you this part in the VPN, but let's see this working in the Unicast or not. LTP only assign labels to IGP prefix, not to the BGP. Um, money only IBGP pay same remote IGP is. IGP EGRP was paper out EGRP was paper static out not BGP. You won't be coming up because we can go to Java. Okay. 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 Maybe Adam. Okay, now we have your heart in the moment. That's the physical one. Top of us. Dog away. Turn not zero or zero. So, guys, if you see show IPBGP, I have a 10 or zero, zero and for the 10 or zero or zero, I'm not doing any allocation of the label. So, for the BGP prefix, it's not doing the labeling. Why this thing is not doing? We'll see that in the VPN part. The question is coming, right? Who is going to do the label for the BGP dot? So, they can be given. They can't go LTP, Kalawai, or Prodo. Ah, the BGP level I got there. Oh, but that's all BGP is there. BGP is also doing the labeling. Okay, BGP is also doing the labeling for the BGP prefix. Okay. Corporate form. Corporate, the difference is happening. Part the same thing with that, just have it. Really. This is how they will move. No, Salni, I believe he is good enough. Now, Salni is asking what you chatting with enough chatting is to have audio. They realize that audio. No, sir, no, sir. Done this guy. I'll tell the other one. And there's a conversation, huh? Yet for such a What happens if the link will be filled? What happens if the link will be filled? Uske liye hum log use karte hain. Yeah. Read this line. One is the alphib, right? And one is the lib. Lib is a label information base where they will have a best information or second best information. This is your LIB. So MPLS, LDP, binding table. Best label, second best label. Even if the labels are not used, another part. I will put that level in my database table. Why they are putting? Just because of the this person. I'll show you that person. Name.
दस गए प्रेम मोड एम्पीलेस यूजेस अ लिबरल लेबल रिटेंशन मोड व्हिच इनेबल अ राउटर्स टू स्टोर ऑल द रिसीव लेबल इवन द लेबल्स आर नॉट बीइंग यूज्ड दैट्स द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस मैन मुझे ये समझ आता है दैट्स इट समझ गए तो समझ गए मुझे डायग्राम बनाना नहीं पड़ेगा समझ गए आर यू गेटिंग दिस पॉइंट गाइस एनीवन हैज अ डाउट्स इन दिस लाइन इफ यू एवर अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अदरवाइज आई नीड टू ड्रॉ दिस थिंग why they are using this one why they are maintaining this all information just because of the convergence time because the this levers can be used after the network convergence to enable the immediate establishment of the alternative lsp that's it sir sir wo mpls binding to output ek bar dikhao sir mujhe jana bhai dekho Um, so here, where is the backup label? So one is saying remote. I have a single or... path, buddy. That's why we oh, don't have a backup. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Clear. So here, then your MPLS will be cast. Now, this is not enough. This is not enough. What will you do? Nothing. This is not enough. 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 तो ये भी हम लोगों ने देख लिया और इसमें लिखा हुआ है पढ़ लो इस लाइन को अभी मत पढ़ो पढ़ ही लो यार रिकॉर्डिंग हो ही रहा है द पीडीएफ फाइल्स एंड प्रिंटेड रिवर्जन का मतलब यूजर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द सिस्को सिस्टम तो पार्टी एस सिस्को जनरल फॉर द सोल एंड यू द सिस्को एम्प्लॉय फॉर सोल स्टडी अब मुझे पता नहीं किसने किसने दे दिया था भाई एस 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 से नहीं करते इंफॉर्मेशन किसी को सो Uh, we have done with the, all this part of the MPLS Unicast, guys. So, if you have any questions from the MPLS Unicast, you can ask me. MPLS Stack, I'm not done. MPLS QS, I'm not done. Okay, except this one, you can ask me any questions. Yeah, MPLS VPN. Call for him. Any questions, uh, anyone? So, can you share this book? Um, of course, I will share. No way, bro. मुझे नहीं पता ही मुझे भी नहीं पता कहां से मिला था ओके गाइस देन वे विल यू स्टोर इट सर इन द सेम ड्राइव हां आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ओके ओके थैंक यू ओके गाइस बाय बाय थैंक यू थैंक यू गाइस